I did it. I purchased about $100 worth of things. Sorry, I'm trying to get this so that you guys can see more of what I got. Um, and it came in the mail actually two days ago and we had windows installed and I had to go to work and I was just like, oh gosh, I really want to open this. So I'm not going to do it as a video and record it. I'm going to do it as a video live so that this can go up instantaneously and whoever's watching can watch now or if you're catching this later, it shouldn't matter. But I have an eclectic amount of things. I ordered some crafts. I ordered some housewares. I ordered just a little bit of everything. So I don't even know if I should take it all out and then do it or let me just, I have some things that I just took out. Let me just go through them. So looks like the first thing <laughs> that I got is this zipper mark and it is a zipper bookmark. So let's see how this looks. <laughs> It's pink, it has the zipper on the front. Oh, this even moves, that's pretty cute. And so you can just put it in your book. I'm gonna use my planner. Let's see how this looks. And you close it up and it looks like it's zippered. That is pretty cute. That is pretty cute. Oh my goodness. I kinda like that. And I'm not going to tell you how much all of these were. I The whole thing was almost $100. And I did have a coupon. So I didn't spend $100, but it was close. Um, but um, very cute. So each, I think these were like less than a dollar, but I don't know exactly. And I think I got two of them. Yes, I did. Two pink ones even. So, you know, I'm going to keep one in the box. And I might gift that one to someone. Now, I will say the box is kind of shoddy. I'm sure it's just because it's been traveling from wherever it came from. Uh, the box is kind of a wreck, but both of them are. This one may be a little better than this one, so maybe I'll switch it out. But, you know, whatever. I don't really care. Um, I think it's hilarious. I think I will definitely use this. I have a book downstairs that I'm reading, so that will go in it. Okay, and I'm not going to test out all of these products just because I have a lot of things to go through, but I will show you each of them, and then maybe I will do a test video later. So this is a fountain pen, and it came with six pieces. So I have the pen and one, two, three, four, five, actually six inks. So it's little ink wells that are already in here, and here's the pen. It's very pretty. It's kind of ombre. I don't know if that's the right word, but it goes from silver to like a blue. And pull it open. Here's the little nib. It looks nice. And then I'm sure I just can fill it easily. Just sticking this in here. Now I don't know which way. I think it's probably this way. Nope, it doesn't feel like that's the right. So I guess it would have to go this way. So, you know, there's really no instructions. So hopefully that just did it. I don't know. Then I'll just pretend to write. Hi, Audrey. Hope you're doing well. It's really cute. So, I don't know. These, I, I'm, again, I do not know how much they were, but there was nothing that I paid too much for at all. I'm not going to keep all the packaging. Okay, these are funny. I needed, so in Chris's truck, he doesn't really have a good spot for a waste basket. And they had these. Let's see where they, these are bigger than I expected them to be. So that's a good thing. They have these waste baskets that have an elastic, it's a removable elastic thing. So you can take this back off and it's not like permanent adhesive or anything, but you can stick it on the back of the chair of the car and it's a little trash bag. So these are bigger than I expected them to be. And I kind of like the idea of just being able to easily remove it. Hopefully it doesn't damage the car. I don't think it will. It doesn't feel like it's anything too strong. I mean, actually the bag that it came in is pretty nice, but the zipper itself, I mean, good grief. I don't know how that works, but I think it looks like I got two packages of these too. I mean, these were like $2 or something for all of those, which if they work, that's fabulous. 
Oh, I didn't see what you said, Audrey. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at sometimes at looking at the comments. So I got another package. It looks like I may have gotten a different pattern, which sounds like something I would do for sure. Yes, this one has the hippo on it. And it says, happy every day. <laughs> That's me. I try to be happy every day. I tell my kids, if you look for the bad, you'll find it. But if you look for the happy, you'll find that too. Sometimes it's a little harder, but you got to do it. So cute. Those hopefully are usable. And if I, if we decide we don't want to use them in the truck, we can use them in the garage or somewhere. I mean, they just easily stick up. And when Hazel's here, we can teach her, put your stuff in here, something like that. Oh, I got this little ring. See, I really did. I tried to get something from every little category. Look at this ring. This is pretty. Chili had snow last night. Oh, goodness. It's chilly here, too. This is really pretty. I don't know. It's a little bit tight, but my fingers are morning fingers right now, too, where they're kind of swollen. But it's kind of pretty. I kind of like it. It's kind of chunky. Huh. I don't know if that opal, it's, I'm sure it's not an opal, but opal-esque is picking up all the different colors. How pretty is that? I can't even tell you if it's true to size because I don't know what size I got. I think I got an eight and I would say that, I don't know, usually this hand is smaller than this hand. No, this hand is bigger. I don't know. It's probably fine. Thank you, Audrey. And then I got these little charms. They are heart charms and they just have rhinestones on them. I thought it would be fun when I was doing either wrapping a present. Those are really cute. Um, wrapping a present and just putting a little charm on it just for fun or even card making, or you could use them for your planners. You could put them on your little tassels if you want to. I don't know. I thought they were cute. I like them. So I got those. Oh, I got a pack of stickers, it looks like. What did I get here? I really do need to make a junk journal. So these are just little stickers, just vintage. I'm not going to go through every one of these, but vintage little stickers. That one looks like canned goods. I don't know what they all are even, but just cute. Just a whole stack of vintage stickers. I'm going to leave them in that little bag so I don't mess them up or lose them or spread them all over God's creation. Ooh, I got some vintage paper. This is really pretty. See, I really do want to make a junk journal. And I have plenty of stuff to do it. It has the like onion paper envelope. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to love this. It's their song lyrics that is Angels We Have Heard on High. And then here's some flowers. It's really thin, beautiful paper. So, oh, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Let me try to do it this way. What's this one? Oh, some more flowers. I'll keep it flowers on one side, song lyrics on the other side. I'm kind of going from the back. It seems to be easier to pull them apart. But that's really cute. Oh, goodness. It says folk names, ground apple, chamomile and scented something weed and then it says their powers love money purification sleep protection and curse removal planet sun element water gender masculine chamomile is one of the sacred herbs of the old english charm i mean just i don't know i think these are cool i love the way it feels this one is all about Whatever flower that is, Charapel. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I don't know. This one says, good love, better. And it's just sweet. Uh, 
I don't know why I'm showing you every one of these because I think they're cool. Some music notes or lyrics or a song. I don't know what you call that. Ooh, that's cool too. And God rest you merry gentlemen. Wouldn't that be cool? Like a, you could do a Christmassy junk journal for your whatever. I don't know. It's just really cute. So those are adorable. I will put those back in here, but I need to figure out a way to separate them. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Oh my gosh. I thought this was funny and I bought several of them, I think, because I'm a dingbat, but this you put on the floor and it looks like there's, it's a little mouse hole <laughs> and he's reading a book. So you just stick it to the wall. It's like a little decal. And it's almost like, it's a little, it's not washy. It's thicker than washy, but it's just cute. And this would just be sitting there like, I'm just reading my book here. Don't mind me. <laughs> Too cute. I think I got more than one because, you know. Oh, nice. Okay, these, let me show you. Sorry about the noise. These fit on the back of your car rest. So like the headrest of your car, you can put this on the little metal thing that holds the headrest up. And then you can put a bag, a purse, a diaper bag, whatever on this. I actually have them in my Honda, but um, we don't have them in Chris's truck. And my, when I'm driving or if I ha I'm in the passenger seat or whatever, I don't have anywhere good to put my purse. So I thought it would be nice to have these. These were like 86 cents for both of them, which is way less than I spent on the two that I have for my Honda. Now I do think that the strap or that this holder part is a little wider in my Honda one, but I think that this will work just fine. You can just put your strap in there. I, I mean, I really think it'll be fine. And um, for Hazel's car seat when, or not car seat, but diaper bag when we have her. So I think that's nice. And it keeps it off the floor, keeps it handy. Doesn't let it flip flop all around. <sighs> Cause that's so annoying. I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Ooh. These are one of the reasons I decided to, oh no, this one isn't it. Never mind. There is something in here that is the reason I decided to order. But what is this one? This one says thermal paper information clearing with open knife box knife. This might be what I'm talking about. Okay, we'll see. So this one has a little knife on the end that you can open a package with. And then this side, I think. Oh, it screws off is supposed to erase your address. Let's just try that on one of these. Nope, it did nothing. Thermal paper information clearing. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is doing something. Look at that. It's erasing it. So let me do it again right here. Look at that. It erases the words. Oh my goodness. That's pretty cool. I was looking for like an address thing so I could use it on the packages before I do unboxings, but that is pretty cool. How about that? I've never seen that before. Oh, I got some um, rubber, or not rubber stamps, but clear stamps and these are books. I love my book journal that I have and I've been keeping track of the books that I'm reading and I have read like, I think I'm on my eighth book this year. So that's pretty good. And I thought these would be fun to include in my book journal. So that's what those are. And oh my goodness, look at this. These are, I think they're stickers. But look how pretty for my card making. 
package is pretty too. So there are little gates with butterflies. Oh my gosh. And here are little closet armoire drawers or even a front door, I'm not sure. Same with this one. That looks more like a front door. And I think that these are all stickers. It looks like I got three of each. Look how cute these are. So, and I know that there were different styles you could pick. Like this one may have been doors and then there was butterflies or, I don't know, I'm making stuff up. I don't know what they, they all were, but I picked, you know, the one that I wanted. There's nothing for me to tell you what to call it, but it's really cute. Here's some more paper. It even says the butterfly travels. So I'm not going to go through each sheet, but it is really cute. There's butterfly paper. Let me pull out the top part if I can. So it's very similar to the other paper not quite as soft as that other paper, but it is perfect. I love this kind of thing. And it's 20 pieces. This says Time Box Series. So this is just the covering. The It like holds it. It has the back and the front. So the paper is actually this part. This is just the little cardboard protector but very cute. So there are the, again, the different ones, the butterflies. I need to put a stack of scrapbooking stuff. I'm getting overwhelmed with all my fun. What is this? Oh, <laughs> this is a lint or hair remover. So Chris had a big like Saint or German Shepherdy kind of dog. And he gets hair everywhere. So this will be good to like scrape the carpet. And then this side has a little smaller lint brush. And you should be able to like pull up whatever on that. So I don't know. It, they showed it on carpet. Again, it was pennies. So I'm not sure if it works or not. But it's worth a shot for the amount that it was. I hate having the hair that like kind of collects on the stairs. And you know, we, you know where the stair it's in that little corner there. Ugh. So this should help with that because it's hard to get the vacuum in there to get it off. That's what I was thinking when I ordered that. Gosh. Oh, I ordered these because I love little traveler's notebooks. And that's what these are. They are smaller than maybe you might think of a regular traveler's notebook, but they are lined. They did have dot grid and blank, but they were sold out of the dot grid and they had blank and line that I could pick from. So I picked the lined because that's my second favorite, but they're just little notebooks. And I like to make like little prayer books or little book club books or whatever, and give them to some of the people that I uh, hang around or do the book club or whatever with. And so I thought that these would be fun to do that. And with this paper and stuff, you could easily do some really cute journals with that. Cute little envelope. They must get them at the same place that, oh my gosh, that sweet kawaii gets hers from because it is so hard to open. rubber stamp. Now it's not quite on there straight, so it's going to look blurry, but it has flowers on it and it's a cute background stamp. And the packaging for that is insane, but it's very cute. I like that. And again, it was less than a dollar for sure. And I don't know if I want to keep that packaging or not. Look at this. Got some pens pretty colors and they're like they almost look like paint pens but I don't think they are very fine tip let me see I have a post-it note over here oh my 
goodness, so I don't know, can you see that? It's very fine. I like the very fine tip sometimes because I like to write small things in my planner or whatever. Sometimes even like I might write, went to Dog and Suds and then I like to write in smaller print. It was so yummy or what I got, you know, got a chili dog with mushrooms or whatever. And you can, I like to write that in smaller and these are tiny. Oh, it's wonderful. 12 colors. So all the colors of the rainbow, very nice. This may have been, if I'm remembering right, this may have been the most expensive thing that I got. And I think that this was $5 or close to that. So I don't know, you might be able to find something like that at another place, but I really like the fine tip and it's cute. Oh, here's another one of those bags and it has a little bird on it, a little chick. So another trash bag. I must have really, I mean, I was excited when I found them, clearly. I had to get at least three of them. Huh. My first cup of coffee still. I wanted to get all this done before I started work today. This is another pack of vintage papers. This one is 50 sheets. Oh, and it feels like it is, and it's all... It's all stuck at the top or whatever. It's, but look how pretty these are. I thought these would be cute cards, too. That's kind of where I was going when I saw them. I didn't realize, but I got, I mean, it's very fine. One, two, three, four, five, five sheets of each. One thing I just thought of that's kind of fun to do is, I did this a long time ago, but like, let's say, you want some of the parts raised, you can use one sheet and cut out this flower, just the flower, and then put the sheets on top of each other. And then the next sheet you would put, you would cut out this flower and maybe this flower. And so you make different layers. And it was really cool. I did a Halloween something like that. It was really neat. So maybe I could do that with these since I have five sheets of each. I could do something like that perhaps. It's a lot of fussy cutting and I don't know, but it's fun. Oh, here are some more charms. Oh, see, so when I was, this is what I was thinking. I can remember now. I was thinking making book club books for some of the peeps that are in the book club that meet regularly. Um, and look at these little charms. Little bears reading a book. And then that's what the hearts were for. And then some of the other papers and stuff. I thought that would be really cute. So I don't know if I'm going to actually do it, but it's a really cute idea. <laughs> oh, and here are some ties with bows on them. It's just like the bread ties and the wire ties, but they have bows. How cute are those? So I thought that'd be a cute way to, to like wrap up a little cookie to give somebody or something. Oh, and these are sewing clips. I told you, I got an eclectic amount of things. So these just hold your stitches or your garment together so that you can stitch. I don't do a ton of sewing, but I know that when I needed it, I didn't have these. And when I saw them for like a dollar for all of these, I thought I have to get them. They may have been more like two or three dollars, but I don't remember. I remember that the blue ones were cheaper than the other colors, so I just went with the cheapest ones because it's not anything that I care what color they are. I'm not a seamstress that needs to color coordinate anything or any of that. Okay, now this paper, this packaging is totally bombed. I don't even know if I could put it back together, but this is wax paper. And I did see this in somebody else's haul. And this page is kind of already coming apart, but it's individual. And they had hearts, they had flowers. I thought the flowers would be most useful for me. Junk journaling for one. But really what I thought would be, this would be cute because I was doing the whole, I might start gifting like some food. Because if I make cupcakes or something, we just don't eat it. I might want one, but then the rest of them I don't want. But it would be fun to wrap it up all nice and gift it to somebody. And um, I don't know, just silly. And they were so inexpensive that it made me feel like, oh, that's a fun thing to do. Let's try to do that. 
Again, I don't know if I really ever will, but I can. <laughs> the thought's there, but you know, the execution is what's really important. I hate that the box is all crummy, but I might try to tape this one back and get it, but it's, yeah, there's no way it would work by itself. It's all ripped. So if I do tape it back, or if I do put it back together, I will have to tape it. Um, but it'll be cute to store it in, I think. I'm going to go ahead and put them back in here because there's no way I want them loose, loosey-goosey in the drawer or anything. But I'm going to keep these downstairs, and I'm probably going to put them with my baking supplies. So, I mean, it's cute. Little wax paper. What else do I have in here? Oh, this is a little notebook. Did I need this? Absolutely not. But I did see this one on like Instagram or something and they showed it to you. Look at that. It's just cute. The binding is, or the, I don't know what it's called. The, the outside, not the binding because this is the binding, but the outside of the page. And it's just, you could just journal or whatever. It even has the date and you can put the weather, a memo number and the day of the week. So, I mean, this would be good for anything, really. I could even use it at work, but I thought it was cute. And you could pick different colors. And, of course, I picked the pink. Now, it has a brown ribbon. I wouldn't have chosen that with it. But, I mean, especially with all the pretty colors here. Pick any one of those colors. Oh, well, brown is one of the colors. So, they did. So, it's fine. I mean, it's really cute. Oh, here's another one of those mouse things. <laughs> Why did I do this? You don't really want mice in your house, but I'll get them if they're cute. This one says, public notice, no cats by order of management. <laughs> and of course I have two cats, but look how cute that is. And then this one, Chris is going to be like, what the heck are you doing? And then these are little stickers and it has little jars and then it also has mushrooms. I don't know if I'm going to open this because it looks like it would be a pain, but I thought that was really cute. Oh my goodness. I want to, I'm dying to open it. You guys want to see it, don't you? So there's like a ball jar. I think they're stickers. If not, that'll kind of be a bummer, but... I don't know. I'm not getting stickery anything. So maybe they're not stickers, but they're a little vinyl. And there's different jars. And then there's, of course, different mushrooms. Let me pull out a couple of the mushrooms. Here's one of them. And they had different things that you could put in the jars. I think they did have like butterflies and stuff, but I thought the mushrooms looked, the day that you do it, you're like, oh, that's really cute. Today I'm going, why did I pick mushrooms? I don't know. But, I mean, they are cute though. And then there's different jars too. So let me try to find a jar that looks a little different. Here's like a perfume bottle with mushrooms in it. I mean, that makes sense, right? But very cute. I don't know. Who knows what I'm gonna do with this? <sighs> I, I just hope I don't stash it in my stuff and then Five years from now, de-stash everything and throw it all away. These say delicate time series. Now these are say these do say stickers, and they are just little stickers. And they do look little. So there's that. 30 pieces. Oh, I got some rhinestones because I want to rhinestone some things. And I didn't know exactly what I was getting, but I got these SS8s. So they are tiny, they're a little bitty. But I got the clear rhinestone. I mean, it looks like little diamonds. Oh, here's another ring. <laughs> of course it is. And it has flowers on it. And this one is adjustable. Let's just put it on my pinky so we can start there. 
this one does look very, it looks cheap. It looks, and I don't know how adjustable it is. Oh, there, you can open it. Put it on my thumb. I mean, I don't know, it's not bad. I don't know. It's it's fun. It's fine. Um, I got another pack of those with the mushrooms. I bet you I didn't mean to do that. I'm sure I did not mean to get two of the mushroom one because I would if I would have gotten two, I would have been something different. Oh, this is a carpet holder downer, and we have a little carpet by the front door that um, sometimes moves, especially if the cat's are flying around or Roxy's doing zoomies or whatever, it'll move around and I like to keep it straight. So this is a little carpet, no slip carpet rug pad. So that's what those are. I guess you put one on each corner. So I will try those for sure. I got another pack of some fountain pens. I'm kind of into fountain pens right now. I wanted some fountain pens. And this one, looks like it comes with ink cartridges, but no ink inside them. I'm not sure. I'm not going to open it right now, but I got two pens. I mean, it looks kind of cute. We'll try it. I'll give it a try. These are everyday coffee labels. This looks like little stickers. Oh, these are grocery labels, excuse me. How cute are these? So bananas, apples, they're tiny. The best caviar, fresh squid, sausages, peanuts. Now there's a million in between here. I'm just not showing you all of them, but like green beans, and berries or something. Oh no, that's coffee. So, I mean, there's just a ton of them in here and they're, they're pretty cute, like vintage looking labels. Grocery labels, cute. I can't read it. I don't know how many you get, but it feels like a lot. What is this? It says Big Face Meow on it. Isn't that what they used to call you, Tracy? <laughs> she does that to me all the time, so... Oh, it's a pen holder. You can put your pins in here and then you roll it up. And then you can tie it. And then you got all your pins all stored in here. <laughs> what were you doing, woman? Stop ordering. <laughs> I have a ton left here, Audrey. This is cute and it's got elastic. So you can put all your little pins in here. Audrey, Audrey, Audrey. Audrey, would you like some mushrooms? Because I ordered two. <laughs> I could send you a pack of these if you would like. Seriously. Let me know. Or did I order three? Because I opened one of them, and why do I have two more sitting in front of me? Look at this. Did it, where, what did I do with the other one? I don't know. I found a mushroom though. Yes, I have three of these. Cause here's the one I order opened. Oh, and it's sitting over here on this. Okay, now this I expected to be a little bigger. This is a pin holder that I thought might work on my desk. transparent clearly clearly pun intended and you can put your pins in here now I don't know how many it would hold 
and it's very thin and I mean, it would fit in little spaces. So I'm not hating it. I'm just not sure if I'm loving it because I expected it to be a little bigger, but it might be nice that it's smaller. Okay, this might be one of those Packaging is hilarious. Um, might be one of those address remover things that I was thinking of. Yes, this is what I was thinking of. So I'm just going to try it on this and I will show you. So look at the before. Roll this over it. And then look at it now. And it even says privacy. And you can't read what it says. So this is part of the reason that I even ever ordered from Timu. Because I thought I want to try one of those things. It says confidential and privacy on it. But you cannot read what's underneath it. Pretty cool. I'm liking that. Goodness gracious, look at these. So these are more stickers. And they are greenery. And they came in really nice packaging. So I'm going to leave them in that. Until I figure out how I'm going to store it or where I'm going to store it. What is... Oh. <laughs> These are pet hair remover things. You put them in the washing... In the washing machine? Or the dryer? It says washing ball. So I guess I put them in the washing machine. And it's supposed to collect the pet hair. I saw somebody haul these and they said that they worked. So it feels like just kind of a piece of foam. And it has a little bear. Look, it has the little bear head and the little bear hiney. <laughs> That's pretty cute. So I guess I just stick these in the washing machine with my laundry. And... Let it do its thing and collect all the hair, which is nice when you have animals. So, oh, and I got a second one of these because, you know, one isn't good. If one is good, two is better. This feels like a pen. It says champagne gold clip drum. I don't know what a clip drum is. Very fancy packaging. Oh my goodness. Champagne gold. It's a fountain pen. And Audrey, you said something and I missed it. You might have to say it again. And then it came with inks blue ink so that's really cute now i don't know if it's filled or not now no but it did come with this you can refill this this is one of the ones that you can fill up put ink in there very cool see this looks really nice hopefully it writes nicely So that's pretty cool, and my goodness, the fancy packaging is just out of this world. That's kind of a fun travel container for even a toothbrush or something, perhaps. Throw that away. I'm going to keep my little bubble wrap. Here are some more PET stickers. This is the one with the butterflies and the little jars. So... Hopefully I didn't order 15 of these, but yeah, that's a cute one. Oh, here's another zipper and it's pink. And this box is nice. Why did I get three of these? See, sometimes I just don't know what I'm thinking. Or sometimes I don't even mean to and it just happens that way. And here's another one of those thermal, thermal things. Good grief. Now these are nice. I will use these as stocking stuffers. I'll give one of these to Katie. It's a pink. 
So I'll give that to her. She'll like that too. Oh, and I got some ties, some zip ties, and it came with four different sizes. And I find these useful, so I thought that was cool. I'll put those in my little hardware kit. This, this one. Oh, this is a multi-cleaning tool. It's supposed to help clean earbuds, which I thought, well, that's kind of neat. So for that one thing, you got all that. Yes, Audrey, yes. Audrey, stop trying to make sense. I know, I know. So this is a little brush over here. And then it has a little, it looks like a fountain pen, but it's a little baby nib. And you can clean out earbuds or whatever you might need to clean out that's like little small. I was even thinking um, your keyboard or if you have like something, you know, sometimes you get something in. Ugh. So I don't know, that might be cool. See, Audrey, I got all this fun stuff. Oh, these are for your phone. You put them on the camera part of your phone and it's a little sparkle. I actually have these on my phone right now and uh, I got them on Amazon for a lot more than I paid for these. So, very nice. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Mushroom jars. I don't know how I did that. Oh, these are cute. These are cupcake. And I was really worried these were going to be the little mini cupcakes. But these are regular sized cupcake holders. And look at the fun colors. They had lots of different ones to choose from. I think that these were like 38 cents. So there's 100 pieces in here. So think about it. This with the little wax paper and a little clippy. Cute. We're getting there. Here are some more of the rhinestones, just a different size. So these are size 8. These look like they're size 10, but I can't be sure. because Oh, no, 12. So it doesn't say, but that's because my finger was on it. So size 8, size 12. Here are some more stickers. These are Bible verses. Love is patient, love is kind. I can't read all of them, but... That's what these are, Bible verses. So that's cute. I don't have those. I like that. Oh, SS5s. These are tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh my gosh, these are hilarious. Look at these little guys. So I saw these and they were you put them anywhere and it looks like they're like little sleeping animals and you guys know I love me some animals love me some animals and if I could open this comes with little adhesive dots and you can put them wherever you want them so here's the little adhesive dots but look at the little animals they're like sleeping this is a little sleeping turtle they showed it like in your car, but you could put it anywhere on your computer. A little sleeping bear. Oh my gosh, the little duck. A little bunny. A little sheep. And a little elephant. Oh my word, those are so cute. Just put them wherever. And little guys just sleeping. That was worth the price of admission. Those might be my favorite things. Those are so cute. Mm. I love them. Here's another one of those things. <laughs> I was thinking stocking stuffers. I do know that. I'm forever thinking stocking stuffers. I'm almost done. That's the end. So just two more things to show you. This one is little clips that are bookmarks or holders. And I was thinking for the planner, this would be really cute. You can keep your page open. You just 
clip that onto the page and it fits nicely in the corner. Very nice, very nice. And there's a lot of those. And then these are little cord minders. You probably know what I'm talking about, but they are Velcro. And they're just little, but um, I'm gonna put them with my twisties in my toolkit. But um, they, they aren't hard, they're not gonna get caught on much, but they will stick to each other and you can keep your cords wound up however you want. And you can even, Stick it through here and, you know, do this kind of thing. Put your cord in there. And I think those are handy dandy. And they're a perfect size. They're not too big. I know they had different colors too, but I wanted the black. But um, very nice. I'm liking that. Very nice. Because sometimes, you know, even under my desk, I get cords that I want to put up. So there's that, and then this is the last thing. It just says one size, but I know that there are little stickers. Oh my goodness, the first one is Cher. Look at her, oh my goodness. This is pre any work. <laughs> And they're just little like newspaper advertisements or magazine is better. <coughs> Excuse me. Little, yeah, little mag magazine pages. Super cool. There was a restaurant when I was a kid that had these like all around the tables and I used to love it. So I'm sure it gives me those kind of feels. So that, my friends, is everything that I got from Timu. I think it was a pretty good deal. I don't feel like anything was totally deceiving or anything feels junkier than I expected it to be. This is the only thing that I can think of right now that I'm looking around that was smaller than I kind of expected. But um, it's still very functional and it might actually be better than being larger than that. But huh, so that is my Timu haul. And yeah. I don't know. I'd say go for it. And if you guys haven't heard of Timu, it's supposed to be like a U.S. And so I don't know if they ship out of the country, but it's a U.S. company that just sells all sorts of stuff for really inexpensive. So, yeah, I need to try the fountain pen, see how they are, but it's pretty cool. So I'm excited about the bookmark even. I think that's cute. So thanks for watching. I mean, how cool is that? That moves. Thanks for watching and <laughs> bless you too, Audrey. I love you, girl. Um, and don't think you're not getting one of these because she is. <laughs> love you bunches. Bye.